Here's how to crop any image into a circle with a few easy steps here in Photoshop. Let's get started. What's happening guys? My name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and I'm assuming you have a new website, social media, or something like that where you need to crop your image into a circle. Luckily in Photoshop, this is super easy to do except it's not extremely obvious at first glance. You don't use the crop tool, instead you use the elliptical marquee tool. I'm gonna walk you through all the steps here in this tutorial. Let's hop into Photoshop and see how it's done. So now here in Photoshop, the first thing you need to do is grab your elliptical marquee tool. This can be found in the toolbar along with your rectangular marquee tool. Just click and hold to reveal the other options, grab your elliptical marquee tool, and now you're ready to go. Going up to your settings bar, make sure your feather is set to zero pixels so you have a nice sharp edge around your selection. Leave Angie alias checked off and your style set to normal. With all of that out of the way, select your desired layer and I'm going to click and drag out to create my elliptical marquee selection. If you hold the shift key, you can make sure that your circle stays perfectly circular and it doesn't look wonky or anything like that. And you can also hold the space bar to move your entire selection as a whole. So holding your shift key and pressing your space bar, you can locate that selection right around where you want to select in your image. In this case, I'm just gonna do a pretty large circle like this, a nice general selection and I'm going to let go. So now you have marching ants around part of your photo and this is what will set the parameters of your circular crop. Now some people might go ahead and delete the background at this point, but I'm going to apply this onto a layer mask so you have a little bit more control going forward. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. With your active selection and your layer selected, we're going to press the layer mask icon to apply that selection onto a layer mask. That's gonna instantly crop our photo and apply it onto a layer mask so we can make some adjustments later on. At first glance, you might be happy with what is going on or you might want to resize some things. So let's say I want to reposition how this headshot is looking within the circle. So to do that, I'm going to first press the link icon to unlink the layer mask from the image. So I'm gonna press that and then I'll click on the image layer thumbnail. So now I can adjust the image itself. I'll grab the move tool by pressing V and now I can rescale this and it's going to only move the image while the circle stays completely still. So I'll just scale this up a whole bunch so I can reposition it to a better size that suits my needs. And that looks pretty good to me right there. I'm gonna press the checkbox to commit to that and now we are pretty much ready to go. The next thing that we'll do is trim all of that excess transparency off of our image so that it's just a little bit more concise when we go to add it onto a web page or social media, whatever you need. So to do that, we'll go up here to image and down here to trim. We'll make sure transparent pixels is selected and all of your trim options at the bottom are checked off. We'll click OK and that will automatically resize our canvas to only fit around the circle. Now at this point, the job is almost done, but if we want to maintain that transparency behind our image, we have to export as a PNG file. If you export as a JPEG, for example, you're gonna end up with a white background and it kind of defeats the purpose. So here's how to export as a PNG. Now that you're happy with your photo, we're gonna go up to File, Save As, and now in this dialog box, we'll just type in whatever name we want. So I'll just go Circle Crop, but most importantly, we're gonna go down here to format and change that to PNG. So that will mean that our image will export with a transparent background. After you've set your file location, click save. And now your photo will save as a crop circle with a transparent background. With everything said and done, your photo is gonna look something like this and it can be applied to anything you really want. Social media, web pages, uh, graphic design stuff, whatever you need, it's now ready to go. By applying your crop onto a layer mask, you have the ability to adjust what is actually being cropped in your photo. It's a lot easier to make any last minute adjustments or change your mind if you're not happy with how something is cropped. Anyways guys, that is all I have for you for today. Again, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and if you enjoyed this tutorial, then make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing for more Photoshop and photo editing goodness just like today's. And with that, I'll catch you back here next time. See you then. <laughs>